What's up, Guardians? BK with BK Gaming 9000 here. Today we are at the tower. It is Friday, which means Zer is here. So Zer is over in the uh, tower north side. So come on, head over here. And uh, he seems to be here uh, a lot recently. So he doesn't seem to move that much. But here he is. Let's see what he has today. All right, right off the bat, he has the Empyrean uh, Bellicose, uh, which is a helmet, which allows you to aim weapons while airborne, and it kind of holds you in place, kind of like the Warlock's uh, little float thing that he's got there. Um, and then it also gives you, with full super orbs, um, recharge their, their melee uh, faster while your super is full, um, you know. It'll recharge it like twice as fast. It's got intellect and discipline. Um, the intellect roll and the discipline roll, they seem to be a little bit above average. I think these ones like get up to like 60 something, 60 like 8 or like 67 or something like that. So um, it's not too, too low. And I think the lowest is 33 where uh, they start right now. Um, so um, it's not too bad. Uh, you know, if you're interested in one of these, then go ahead and pick it up. But if not, then just leave it alone. Next, we have the Graviton Forfeit, which uh, is one of my favorite uh, helmets that have been added for the Hunter. Um, it allows you uh, to get Shade Step automatically. So if you like to use a tether, you can use some other function other than Shade Step in that last column. Um, because this will give it to you automatically. As for the rolls, it has intellect and strength. Uh, they are pretty pretty low rolls. Uh, the intellect, I believe, can get to about 106, and the strength can get to about like I want to say like 60 something again. Um, so for the strength, it's on the high end, but for the intellect, it's definitely on the on the very low end of the spectrum. So I would probably just leave that alone. Next, we have the Nothing uh, manacles. Uh, this enables scatter grenade tracking. Uh, gain an additional scatter grenade charge for warlocks. Uh, this is actually really good for PvP. Um, I know a lot of people are, have been switching over to uh, grenade style play, and uh, like <laughs> like they have it before, but like you know, it's been amped up a little bit more now, especially with the recent updates and things like that. So. Uh, for for the rolls, it has discipline and strength. Um, the strength again is is uh, is above average, while the discipline is a little bit below average. So uh, up to you if you want to pick that up. Um, I'm probably not going to touch any of these three as I have all of them already at better rolls, I believe. Um, the graviton forfeit, I definitely know I have like a hundred and I think I have like the max intellect that you can get, but it's only intellect. Um, so. Um, but I like to keep it that way and for our weapon we have the universal remote um, I'm actually probably gonna pick this up uh, a lot of people use it in PvP uh, I had it uh, for year one um, and actually I don't think I need to spend any strange coins on it because I think I since I have it for year one it's unlocked we'll take a look at the end of the video but uh, um, <laughs> this this might mean you might want to stay off PvP for a little bit because that means everybody's going to be rolling around. So this uh, this uh, weapon causes kinetic damage. Uh, it also is in your primary slot, so you can dual wield shotguns. Um, here are the perks for it. It's got crowd control. Uh, kills with this weapon. Grant bonus damage for a short period of time. Uh, hammer Forge, Lightweight, and Snapshot, so aiming incredibly fast. And then we have Universal Remote, Range and Precision Damage increases greatly while aiming down the sights. Uh, and that is so true, it's ridiculous. I can't tell you how many players I see playing on 10 sensitivity with the Universal Remote running around and popping people in the face. Um, it's a lot. And so, you know, you, you definitely just want to watch out for that. I'm buying a couple more three of coins because I am saving up three of coins uh, for the update so I can start using three of coins. Um, I definitely know that the exotic engrams um, that I have been saving in my vault 
Uh, they're not going to be the new weapons that are coming out, but the reason why I'm saving what I get now for exotics uh, engrams is uh, for when the update does come out, even though it might be a, uh, like a previous year uh, item, if the previous year item can be infused to the newer light level, uh, they might drop at the newer light level. So I'm just going to save that and test that out for myself. Um, let's go ahead and see if we have the universal. Yeah, so we have the universal remote already, and I can buy it with legendary marks. So don't need to, but uh, I'm still searching for a couple exotics. Uh, and I'm so upset too. The last time it was selling the patience and time, I should have bought it because I, I don't have the patience and time. I had the patience and time on my Xbox account um, back when I played Destiny in year one. Uh, now I'm on the PS4, but back when I played Destiny in year one, I had the patience and time, and now I don't have that. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, subscribe for more. Uh, we're going to try to do this every week for Zer. Um, so, I will see you guys next time.